Hey everybody, it is Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness, and I'm in my office today. <laughs> um, so actually, I have a new setup. I got a webcam, so it's up there. So if you see me looking up and down, because I'm making sure I'm in the frame. <laughs> um, so the webcam is definitely interesting, and I spent all day Monday, well not all day, but I did train clients, but um, I spent a good chunk of the day organizing this office. Um, you know, you have that one room in the house that you just need to get to. Well, that was my office for a while. So I decided to move everything around. And um, if you see over there that armor thing, and I have some bookshelves here. But ironically enough, I um, moved the armoire from that side of the room to the other side of the room. And I moved the bookshelves around. And then I decided I liked them where they were originally. <laughs> so I got a really good workout moving my furniture. Um, today I am talking about emotional eating. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Nicole Simonin. I am a personal trainer and I am the owner of Shape It Up Fitness. It is not a franchise. It is just me helping to spread the word and hopefully help all you ladies out there who are over 40 50, 60, who think that you can't lose weight anymore. Um, so this morning I was talking to one of my clients and we were talking about um, emotional eating. And one of the things that you need to be aware of emotional eating is if your stomach is not actually growling, then you're not eating for fuel, you're eating for emotional reasons. I'm hoping everyone can hear me. Like I said, this is a whole new setup. If you can hear me, if you're on here, um, just give me a thumbs up. Um, before I go any further, I want to make sure everybody can hear me. All right, so we'll just keep going. Um, so if your stomach is not growling, unless you have a medical reason, like for instance, I have what's called reactive hypoglycemia. Um, it's not very common, apparently, and I have it and it has nothing to do with diabetes or anything like that but basically your blood sugar will drop if you don't eat every three to four hours or so uh, I have found ways that I can kind of stretch it out a little bit more depending on how I um, do my food put it together but in general if you don't have a medical condition if your stomach is not growling or you're not having blood sugar dips or anything like that you are eating for emotional reasons so let's talk about emotions for a second. Um, if you think about emotions, they're kind of like feelings inside or vibrations or sensations, right? And those, so imagine like those feelings in your body. And what happens is, is when you actually eat food, the, the emotion or the vibration or the sensation actually gets depressed a little bit. So imagine like your volume on your radio or whatever is really high and basically when you eat emotionally you are turning that volume down. That allows you to avoid the emotion that you're not wanting to deal with. Um, so of course we're going to want to gravitate towards overeating because if you're like me, like growing up, um, showing emotion it was almost like a sign of weakness and so whenever I dealt with anything I would eat or you know or if you have something going on or like if you're upset like the typical scenario is you know when you were younger and you were dating and the guy broke up with you and you would dive into a pint of haagen or a gallon of haagen okay so that food that you're eating is basically calming down that emotion so you don't have to deal with it right because once you eat the food your emotions now have calmed down but then you get that lovely sugar spike because generally speaking we eat high sugary foods comfort foods that we think are going to make us feel better so basically we're sweeping the emotions under the rug and we're just covering them up until they pop up again and the problem with that is is they keep popping up if you look back on your life, I know for me, I look back at certain things and I'm like, I repeatedly do these things over and over and over again. And it's like, why would you keep doing those things over? But 
it's whatever's ingrained in our brain and how our brain operates and how our brain works. Um, so I think most women go through life not really realizing that they're eating for emotional reasons. If you live in the United States, we got food everywhere. You know, everything is um, revolves around food. Whether like I'm actually going to a networking event tomorrow, which is great, but it's around food, right? You know, birthday parties, showers, um, anything. You know, if you work in an office environment, you know, everybody's got a birthday. Everybody wants to celebrate, and that's great. But why does it always have to be around food? Um, so, like I said, I, growing up, never really wanted to share my feelings. I probably didn't really share my feelings until I had kids. They kind of brought it out in me, I guess. Um, but when I figured out that food wasn't my issue, it was the way I was thinking about food or what I was using to kind of um, turn the volume down on, uh, to me, that was absolutely game changer. It's almost like like the the chalkboard has been wiped off, like it's a clean slate, and it's very calming. And I think a lot of people, when you go into diet mentality, you know, it's all sacrifice, deprivation, and all this stuff. And it's very like um, it feels very heavy and you know gritted and everything. And once you figure out why you do the things that you do so much easier it's almost like a breath of fresh air and it's a lot there's a lot less drama in your head and that's what makes it easier to lose the weight um so here are some tips for you the next time you grab for something to eat i want you to ask yourself number one is your stomach growling if your stomach is growling you need to go eat right that is our god-given natural instinct that is our you know uh, it was put into us for a reason, and we have been ignoring it for a while. <laughs> um, but if you're hungry, you go eat something. If the answer is no, no, my stomach is not growling, and you go to grab for something to eat, you are eating for emotional reasons. So what I want you to do is when that time comes up and you want to grab for food, but you're not, your stomach is not growling, I want you to take a breath and just observe what's going on. Notice what's going on in your head and your body because sometimes you're going to feel like you want to just jump out of your skin. You feel so uncomfortable because you want to satisfy that urge, that craving, that you want whatever it is to suppress your emotional feeling. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I want you to do is just observe. Do not judge yourself. Just watch what you do and see how you react and wait until your stomach growls to eat. All right. Um, if you would like help figuring out how to permanently lose weight without dieting, without crazy, insane workouts, um, I want to invite you to schedule a free 50 minute phone consult with me. On the call, you will find out exactly what you need to know to get rid of those final those extra pounds, um, not only just to get rid of them, but to keep them off for life. All right. So if you're interested in that, go ahead over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L. -L, um, and you can schedule today. I don't know how often or how long I'm going to be running these consults. So if that is something that you're interested in, in finding out why you're stuck, go there today, schedule a consult. Um, I'll be happy to help you out. Again, I don't know how long I'm going to be offering these, so grab it while it's still there. All right, so that is all for me today. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments section. And remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. And I'll see you in the next video.